Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Cassandra and today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite acne treatments in hopes, I say hopes, of getting rid of pimples overnight. So of course I can't promise that these remedies will get rid of pimples overnight every time, but what I can say is that I've always noticed a decrease in redness and size. So I'm really confident that you will definitely see results with these methods, especially with repeated application. So let's get started. Remedy number one is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is well known for its ability to fight bacteria and reduce skin inflammation. It's the easiest and most convenient method on this list. I always make sure to have some on hand. I usually use it in full concentration with a cotton swab, but if you have sensitive skin, I recommend diluting it with coconut oil or jojoba oil. I would leave this on for at least half an hour, but really you can leave it on for as long as you'd like. I recommend moisturizing the area after as tea tree oil can dry out the skin. Remedy number two is green tea. Green tea contains flavonoids and tannins, which are known to fight inflammation and bacteria. It's high in antioxidants and helps balance sebum production, which is the oil that your own skin produces. For this method, steep one tea bag for three to four minutes. Then remove the tea bag and wait for it to cool. Once the tea has cooled, pour it into a spray bottle. And then mist it over the face evenly on freshly cleansed skin. Allow the skin to absorb the liquid and apply again or finish with a moisturizer. Number three is honey and cinnamon. Make sure to use organic raw honey. I like to use Manuka honey because it contains even more antibacterial properties with Ceylon cinnamon. Both are loaded with antioxidants and have the ability to fight bacteria and reduce inflammation. I usually just eye out the amounts based on how much I need. Sometimes I will spot treat with this mixture. I also love using it as a full face mask. It leaves the skin so soft and hydrated. Number four is bentonite clay. People have used bentonite clay to remove impurities from the skin for thousands of years. It has the amazing ability to absorb bacteria like a sponge and has a calming effect on inflamed breakouts. For this method, mix equal parts bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar. This can vary depending on how much you need. I like to use this method as a spot treatment or as a T-zone mask or a full face mask. For normal skin, leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes or for sensitive skin, leave it on for five to 10 minutes. The fifth remedy is colloidal oatmeal. For centuries, colloidal oatmeal has been a salve for itchy, dry, or irritated skin. It has been considered an emollient, a substance that softens and soothes the skin. For this method, mix two parts oatmeal and one part water.
Again, this can be used as a spot treatment or a full face mask. You won't believe how amazing your skin feels after doing this. Leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes. Number six is aloe vera. Aloe vera has been known to fight bacteria, reduce inflammation, and promote wound healing. It contains lupiol, salicylic acid, cinnamonic acid, phenols, and sulfur, which all inhibit bacteria that cause pimples. I cut a leaf off of my own plant, but you can also purchase a larger leaf at the grocery store. Slice it open and remove the inner gel. I like to put mine in the freezer for 10 minutes for an extra soothing effect. This can also be blended for an even smoother consistency. Spread some gel over a specific area or over your entire face. Leave on for 30 minutes to overnight. Number seven is an apple cider vinegar toner. This is something that's also really awesome to add into your everyday routine if you have acne prone skin. Apple cider vinegar is great for its ability to fight many types of bacteria and viruses. It's an amazing anti-inflammatory. It also contains lactic acid, which has been shown to reduce acne scars. Fill a spray bottle with 40% apple cider vinegar and 60% water. Spray evenly over face and let dry. Finish with your favorite moisturizer. The last remedy is ice. This is a very simple one. Ice is widely known to decrease swelling. That being said, it may be more suitable to incorporate this method with one of the previous methods that have more antibacterial properties than using it on its own. So for this, you want to make sure you use filtered or any clean water that you have in an ice cube tray. This can be a bit messy. Feel free to use a Ziploc bag to minimize the dripping. So of course, as you probably know, acne is caused by lifestyle and hormonal issues. So I thought I'd include a couple of things that you can do to help minimize the amount of acne that you get on a daily basis. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any acne remedies that you think I should try. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.